With that last one. Oh! Sauce Anthony Edwards rise high and finish over the defender. On our AT&T 5G Slam Cam, you just saw an explosive highlight. Here's Jackson. Over to the left wing. Jokic draws the double. Let's it go from deep. And another miss by Denver. And not allowing the shooter even an inch of breathing room on that one. Right. He stays connected and great timing on the contest. Now here's Anderson to the left side wing. The 11 footer. Jokic grabs the miss. Jokic just got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Fourth quarter of play, and we're about two and a half minutes through it right now. Here's Brown. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. Well, all night he has made an impact at the offensive end. Now he's trying to shut the door. And a chance to catch up on some numbers here. Scoring breakdown for Denver. A nice portion of their points have been earned at the line, and they've done an exceptional job creating havoc for the defense and getting fouled. Second chance points have also been a big part of what's happened in this game. Crashing the boards with authority, turning those opportunities into second chance points. Boy, big time, big time on the offensive glass. Jackson against Conley. Here's the pass to Reed. Back to Conley. Uses the glass to finish the way. Conley's got it all tied up now for the Timberwolves. Well, inside, Mike Conley has got to be savvy, and he is in that instance. Jackson passes to Jokic. Outside, Jackson to the left wing. Now, here's Jokic. He's guarded closer. Shoots over Reed. Buries the seven-footer. Jokic has got five points now in the quarter. Well, the advantage they have right now is largely based on his play. What an outstanding night. There's a good screen. Here's Conley. Rebound by the Nuggets. They've led by as much as 10. Jackson looking it over. Pass to Jokic. Out of bounds. Minnesota takes possession. And some changes here for the Timberwolves. Rudy Gobert, he's checked in for Reed. Towns comes in for Anderson. And it's McDaniels in for Nikhil Alexander-Walker. And so Conley will bring the ball up for the Timberwolves. Trailing by two. Outside, Edwards. Fires the three. Good! from three and he's letting it fly from long range it's a devastating effect and he's now tied the franchise record for triples in a playoff game Jokic draws the double Gordon with no one around and he can't answer back the three-pointer offline now here's McDaniel guarded by Porter there with the screen for Edwards. And again for three. And talk about stepping up. He's having a playoff game these fans won't ever forget. That last three means he's got the most threes in a single playoff game in franchise history. What a bomb by Jokic. That's one of those clutch shots he's going for. When the pressure is high, he seems to be the most locked in. Outside, down. to go there. And works against Caldwell Park. Pass to Towns. Headshot off. Gordon with the defensive effort. The Nuggets trail. Jokic kicks to Murray. Back to Jokic. A 10-footer. And Jokic! will just torch you inside. Huge. Jokic 
package comes through just fearless. What an option. Here's Edwards. And finished off by Edwards. Oh, the young gun, Anthony Edwards, with the big time delivery. Murray surveying the D. The pass to Jokic. He dishes it to Gordon. Pass to Jokic. The Nuggets need to get a shot off here. For three, Murray. That's in. Coming off the assist from Jokic. Murray's got 13 points in the second half. The Timberwolves trip. Now it takes it to Towns. Back to Edwards. Jokic grabs the miss. Passes it to Murray. 41 seconds left in the fourth quarter. On the wing, Gordon. Yes! And you can't get a bigger bucket than that. I'll tell you, it takes confidence to pull the trigger in that situation. You love guys who relish the moment. And the Timberwolves call time. They trail by four. 32 seconds left in the fourth quarter. The latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. I was able to listen in on what Chris Finch told the team. He challenged his team. He said they're not going to give us this one. We have to take it from starting now. Let's see if that message resonated. Kevin? Thanks, David. Eight second difference between the shot clock and the game. Edwards finds Towns. Edwards can't hit. And here's Denver. They've outscored him 10 points and two during this run. And they foul intentionally. They're going to have to do that now again and again. They're not in the penalty yet. And he commits the intentional foul. Yeah, you, you can't let him hold the ball and just milk those five seconds away. free throw is good and that puts them up by five and he hits both free throws here so now it's a six point ball game well you want to continue to build the lead so a very productive trip to the line right there Minnesota calls timeout they're trailing by six there's 18 seconds left in the fourth quarter what do you think guys they need a quick basket here. Well, preferably a three, right? If there's a clean look, take it. Conley finds McDaniel. Puts up a deep three. Rebound by the Nuggets. They've led by as much as 10. And that's an intentional foul. He drops the first one and that makes it a seven point lead. So both free throws are good. And it's an eight-point game. Has to go there. Dishes it to Towns. There's McDaniels. That one's off. Still out of sync. So the Nuggets win it. This was a pivotal game in the series so far. And they were able to keep their heads great. Get the job done.